So at the age of 15, I was kicked out by my secondary school. I turned to join a gangster. I was introduced to drug. At the age of 16, I started taking drug. I turned to selling drug for living because you know I have to support myself and also support my grandmother. And then I got arrested. I got arrested by cops. I got arrested by narcotics. I was being charged by carrying a lot of drugs because um, it was overload. I mean, it was against the law. You know, when I was in jail, it was horrible. It was terrified. I had all kinds of emotion, feelings about fears, about frustrate, frustrated, about depression, anxiety. I remember there was a guy who slept next to me. He was, uh, he was sent into prison because he was charged by killing someone. Was I, was I going to be killed by him? I can barely sleep at night. What am I gonna do? How, how, how am I gonna get through all this? Who will be here to help me? I was, I was like being tortured by my frustration, by my depression. Cause I didn't have the skill to deal with this. My parents, who is unable to accept the fact that he is an autism child. So we've been struggling to that issue for 20 years. Especially living in Sabah, we were not aware the proper method how to deal with this situation. And it caused a lot of trouble to us. In that short period of one year, everything in our life changed. With the mindset that we were given a chance to explore, there wasn't any type of support we can get from here in terms of our situation. The problem is not my brother, the problem is us. While actually my brother is just another normal child with different type of mentality. So if we can just accept that mentality, we just know how to deal with it, it will be easier for all of us. So we have this very Asian mentality that having a special child is something very embarrassing. Up until now, up until now, Sabah still have this mentality Telling people you have mental issue, having depression, actually cause the people, most of the people who hear your story to back out from your life. So at the end, right, the people who have mental problem, when they spoke out their problem, they're not actually being treated or giving, being given support. They're actually being pushed to their own self. They got even more lonelier. Being in an Asian family, Asian culture, some would say gay and les lesbian is not really accepted. I joined that movement. It was like an open hug movement, open word of support movement where we were just like lining up in the street with a big banner saying, it's okay to be gay, it's okay to be lesbian, as long as you're not hurting anyone, as long as you're living your life properly, it's okay to be who you are. It turns out 80% of the people coming to us are actually boys and men on every age gap from primary to secondary even men who is full with grey hair already. The first thing they did before they said anything was they hug. All of those hug lasted more than 10 seconds. When, when someone needed a hug, it's like they needed shelter. It shows how lacking of support these people get in the society. Know who I am and why, why am I here, it, it didn't work out until a car accident that almost got me killed. Men are not allowed to be emotional in this society. Even as they grow older, the lesser space we give them to be emotional, 
which is one of the biggest issues in mental illness because people are not allowed to be honest with their emotion. They're not allowed to face their emotion. They're not allowed to speak about their emotion. And when they speak about it, people judge them. When I was inside the car, when I was driving, and suddenly I hit something and, you know, the car flied. All the scene in your life that, you know, the person that you treasure a lot, your family members and, you know, your teacher, your, your, your friends, and those beautiful scenes, it all flowed in front of me. If that situation were to happen on me, my parents wouldn't react that way. They will know that I'm a, I'm a girl, I'm a female, and things like this can make me very fragile, and they'll take more consideration just because I'm a female. When things like this happen to men, it made me realize that, wow, people don't really take them as serious as how when a woman or a female try to bring up this topic. We assign meaning to those experiences give a better meaning to every situation, to every experience, I believe that, you know, you will live with purpose. You will feel the joy, you will feel happiness, you will feel alive. There shouldn't be a shame of having mental issue. There shouldn't be a shame of having depression. There shouldn't be a shame of having, like, problems within your, your emotion or your mentality. Figure out what are you going to do, what do you want to do, and do it. After the drug dealing experience, after the car accident, after the breakup, and I'm still able to be here, and that means that there is something great is going to happen in the future, and I always believe that. Women can do what a man can do, so a man can do what a woman can do as well. Just because they share their emotion, just because they cry, it doesn't show that they are not men anymore. They're not manly anymore. It just shows that they are human as well.